All right, so this video is about cutting this inside section. So on the finished one, you can see the inside section there. That's what we're taking out now. And that's it drawn. So if you haven't got this drawn or this drawn, go back to the other video and watch that. All right, so if you have a look here where it's been marked, you can see we want to take all this section out. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut using our saw. Like, well, these are called relief cuts. So we're going to cut there, 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 there. And we're only going to cut down to our line. And we need to be pretty good with this. Because um, if you cut too far, it's hard to sort of fix it. What I'm doing here is just tracing or just squaring off some lines. These are going to be all the lines that I cut. And I will make a little bit of a mark on these outsides, but not much. So maybe I'll do that first. Use my bench hook to get a nice line. You might want to come over here to see. Yeah, so I'm pulling back. That'll give me a groove. I don't want much of a line, remember, so don't go down too far. I'm just using my finger here to pull back, but if you want, you get a piece of scrap. So just ask me and I'll give you a piece of scrap. Stick this bit in, bit in here so you don't have to touch if you're worried about hitting your fingers. And all I'm doing is really marking that, all right? And then the next one goes down a little bit deeper. So you can see that first one went a little bit too far. You'd want to try and minimize that if you can. This next one is pretty good on this side, but it needs to come down a little bit more on this side. So I'm just going to put it in here and lean back a little bit. A little bit more. And that's it. Next one. Watching it like a hawk at the back. See the front there needs to go deeper. You want to make sure as well that when you're cutting these, just a tad too far, that you're not creating like a big sort of hill in the middle. So when you're cutting, you are, I mean, you do need to focus on the front and the back sometimes, but that you've got your saw straight. So at the moment, it's on an angle. And then I'm straightening it up. And now I'm going to try and leave it straight. A little bit more. Because sometimes I see <clears throat> students doing this, but you know you can you can see it hasn't cut very far in the middle, but the sides are good. So you've got to cut straight through. So that one there, it's pretty good. A little bit more on this side. That'll do, next one. Keep watching it, keep watching it, because If you don't watch it, you're not going to be able to know. <clears throat> and this last one, I'm just making a mark, remember? So. Just a mark. I've been doing this a while too, so you know it might take you a little bit longer than that, but that's fine. This is just a learning process. So we're just really building up our skills skills with our tenon saw here. Um, but at the end of this step, yours should look similar to this. So I've got 
not, including these ones on the outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That sounds about right. No less than six. When you've got more, it's a lot easier to take out with a chisel and that's the next step. So that's what we're gonna be doing next.